Alright, how's it going everybody? I'm Dalton and I'm presenting on Dacia. So first, some quick taxonomy. Uh, it's Kingdom Plantae, Phylum Rotophyta, Class Floridiophyceae, Order Ceramialis, Family Daciaceae, and the genus Dacia. Uh, and just to go through their reproduction fast, um, obviously they are red algae, so they have a triphasic sport meiosis. Um, and they also have an isomorphic alternation of generation, so the gametophyte and tetrasporophyte uh, are structurally similar. Um, they also have prochark reproduction um, with the auxiliary cell forming post fertilization, uh, which is a pretty derived trait. Um, and they also, uh, through the collections, they found a lot of free floating specimens uh, common for some of the species, which could also be a method of asexual, uh, like asexual reproduction in moving spots. <clears throat> for their construction, they're heavily corticated with five pericentral cells. They also have a cortex of rhizoidal filaments for attaching to substrates. Um, they have zigzag sympodial branching. And then they have these monocyphenous laterals that kind of give it the feathery, fuzzy uh, texture. Um, and then their prochars form directly on the periaxial cells. And I was a little bit confused on the branching, so I included this figure to kind of explain it a little bit better. So this is the type of branching that they exhibit. Um, kind of like zigzags, uh, and then this is a more common like monopodial branching. Uh, there's seven species found in Hawaii. Um, one of them is endemic, uh, Dazia atroperperea. Um, that's that one on the right, and then this one is Dazia iridescens, which is uh, the most common, probably the one you guys collected for the for the uh, herbarium. Um, so the the endemic one, uh, Dazia atroperperea. Um, it's the largest known species of Dazia, and it's only reported from deep water, uh, from about 20 to 170 meters, which is cool. Um, it also has a three-celled carpogonial branch, um, where a lot of the other species have four-celled carpogonial branches. Um, it also has pseudolateral monocyphonous branches, which I'm not exactly 100% uh, positive what it was referring to, um, but it's just another difference that they have from uh, the other species. Um, and then they're endemic to the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And I wasn't able to find very many uh, studies on this one, um, but I did find uh, some information on an invasive species uh, in Northern Europe, uh, Dazia biloviana, I think is how you pronounce it. And um, it's originally from the Mediterranean, and I think we do have it here as well. Um, so it's, it's invasive because it has the ability to grow as an epiphyte on other algae uh, and outcompete them. And again, it has the free-floating specimens uh, as a mean of, means of asexual propagation. Um, it's not palatable to most grazers. Um, and then also the waters in northern Europe are a lot more nutrient-rich, uh, which help them their invasive nature. Uh, and then they also showed that the new fertile plants can develop within six weeks, so they have a pretty fast reproduction time. And they also have a pretty large temperature range. So they are found in uh, tropical waters such as here, and they're also found in northern Europe uh, with colder temperate waters. And that's all I got.